hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to be configuring um, high availability and this is for the CCMP security SIMOS and we are going to be configuring um, a failover high availability and it's going to be an active and standby failover um, and what's going to happen is I'm going to be configuring a failover interface on Gigabit 00 they're both connected on Gigabit 00 and the failover was going to do is it's going to send all the configuration uh, of the active um, ASA to the standby um, to the standby firewall over here, all right? So any configuration that I do on the on the active interface is going to go into the standby um, firewall. And for the stateful, which is Giga01, uh, on the stateful, what happened is that that any traffic that is actively connected to the um, active firewall or ASA right here um, is going to send it to the standby so in case of a failover over the active um, firewall and the standby needs to step in it's going to have other traffic and other traffic is going to um, continue we know um, without interruption and that's how high availability um, comes in so let's go ahead and configure that uh, we need to go into the um, ASDM of the active um, of the active firewall so let's go ahead uh, let's go ahead and close this right here don't save uh, yes exit so let's go ahead and go into the ASDM launcher and we're going to connect to 3.3.3.1 which is the IP address of that management interface that I have configured and let's go ahead and move it move this over here so you guys can see everything I'm doing so I'm now on the ASDM, uh, ASDM for the active firewall. So we are going to do some configurations. We want to do some interface settings. Let's go into interface and the gigabit zero, like I said, is going to be the failover interface. And that failover interface is going to send all the configuration to the standby. Um, oh, so all the current configuration on the active is going to be on the standby. And the stateful is going to be all the um, traffic. So let's go ahead and we're not going to name this, we just want to enable it. Let's go ahead and enable this one as well. And let's go ahead and configure Gigabit 02, which is the one pointing to this switch. And this one is going to be inside. Enable it. This one is going to be 10.10.10.1. Um, go ahead and enable it. Apply it. Good, so now let's go ahead into device management and we want to do a high availability and a scalability and we're going to uh, configure failover. We're going to enable it. The key that I want we want to do over here is going to be um, the key of active. This failover is going to be gigabit zero. IP address one the one the one the one. For this one, it's going to be Two five five, and the logical name we're going to say F one standby IP one dot one dot one dot two. Let's enable HTTP replication. Let's go ahead and go into gigabit zero slash one. This one is going to be for the state failover, which is the stateful. This one's going to be two dot two dot two dot one. Slash on the four. Let's call this F2. Standby is going to be 2.2.2.2, which is a way to configure on the standby firewall. Okay. And apply. <clears throat> so, basic failover configuration has changed. Configure the device per. Okay. Provide the IP address of the peer to which ASDM may connect. Um, we are not going to do any ASDM for right now. And let's go ahead and reapply it. The standby IP address for this one is going to be 10.10.10.2, which is this one right here. Criteria, all of that is good. Let's go ahead and apply it and save it. So, <clears throat> what we want to do is after we apply it, 
We're going to go ahead and save it. So now we go, we want to go into that standby. As you can see, we have no active mate detected. So let's go ahead and go into this config T. And what we want to do is we want to do a failover LAN interface. Let's just call this F1 gigabit zero slash zero. After that, let's do a failover interface IP F1 one that one that one that one secondary <clears throat> or oh, standby it's going to be one that one that one that two right and then after that what we are going to be uh, what we are going to be configuring standby So actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and go into interface gigabit zero slash zero, and let's just say no IP address. Exit. Um, and let's go ahead and do failover interface IP F1, one 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 Two for five, two for five, two for five, zero. Secondary, or not secondary, standby. Keep saying secondary, standby. One, 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 two. And after that is done, we're going to do failover. Key, Cisco. Failover, LAN. It's going to be the unit. Yep, this unit is going to be the secondary. And then fell over to just turn it on. Um, let's see what happens. It has detected an active mate. It is beginning that replication from the mate. So what's going to happen? All the configuration from the active firewall is going to go to the standby. So even the AS, this active host name is going to be configured to this um, firewall over here. And there we go. As you can see the now the standby that used to be standby if you remember right here the host name was standby but since all the configuration from the active was sent to the standby now this one also became um the active so if we come over here config t and if we change the host name of active to active one that's going to be sent over here and as you can see this one also became active one just the same as this one right here that became active one and if you want to change the host name again to active two that's going to be sent over here as active two so everything that i'm configuring over here is going into the standby so if we do an show i show interface brief or show i interface ip brief um, you can see that we have 10.10.10.2, which was um, the method that was configured was via the config, which means that it was sent by the active um, by the active router, well, by the active ASA. So if I go into the ASEM and I configure, um, let's configure another interface. So let's go ahead into device setup. Let's go ahead and configure this one over here. And let's say that this one um, interface, let's just call it outside. And this outside is going to have a level of zero. We're going to enable it. Let's just say that it's going to be 20 that one that one that one slash 24. And let's go ahead and enable that bad boy. Yes. Outside. So let's go ahead into device management. Let's go ahead and apply the changes before we do that. And then we're going to go into the interfaces. So over here, 20 that one that one that one. I want the standby to be. Um, 20 that one that one that two and let's go ahead and apply that and save it so now as you can see the standby 
got some more configuration. So now if we do an, again show interface IP brief, you can see that Gigabit 03 did not get 20.1.1.1 because we configure this one as standby. We configure this as standby IP address and the standby IP address is 20.1.1.2. There we go, 20.1.1.2. So that's how um, you configure the high availability and the high availability that we just configured was the failover um, high availability and we also did the the um, active standby failover with stateful configuration okay and what that means is that whenever we configure the active standby it's going to support VPN because if we configure the active active um, failover um, it does not support any VPN content so we don't want to do that we want to have uh, VPN, um, VPN, which Active Standby does support VPN, and we did the Stateful configuration, and Stateful, stateful configuration allows um, existing VPN sessions and tunnels to stay up even when a failover has occurred um, when connecting to the clients and sites that are now entering to the previous standby device. So, and also if you want to see um, the standby router, um, going to active what you can do we can go into monitoring um, let's go into properties and let's go ahead into spillover let we go to status and we want to make this um, standby so we're going to make the active standby let's go ahead and click over here and there we go and as you can see let's give it a couple of seconds <clears throat> let's go ahead and end this and let's go ahead and show failover you can see that this is the this host is the primary and it is on standby right now and the secondary one is active so if we go ahead into over here and do show failover you're going to see that the secondary is the active one and the secondary is this AS, ASA2. Okay, and also this one seems like it froze. Let's go ahead and try to make it active back again. And let's see if we do a show failover. Still saying that the secondary is active. So we are unable to communicate with the ASDN, let's go ahead and close this. Save my configuration. Let's go ahead and just close this right here. And let's go ahead and try to connect to the ASDM again. 3.3.3.1. See if that works. It looks like it's not going to work because this one is now on standby. So the active one is now on standby. So for us to connect, we have to connect with this other um, standby over here, which is active. Um, so if we delete this one right here, and we delete this one right here, and we want to connect to this new um, firewall, which now is the active firewall. Management, connect to it. Let's see if it's gonna let us connect to it. Um, let's bring up that ASDM. Let's see what is the three that three that three that one still. Okay, let's connect to three that three that three that two. So it looks like it is not working. So let's go ahead into the standby and see what's going on. So interface IP brief. The management was configured via the config. So 3.3.3.1. Is it going to let me connect to it? It's not letting me connect to it. So I messed up somehow. Um, but as you can, you saw how um, how easily it is to configure um, the high availability of active standby failover. So this is it for this video, guys. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video why don't you just go ahead and click the thumbs up 
also subscribe to my channel and if you have a twitter account why don't you just go ahead and follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips so this is it for this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one guys i love you bye bye